you know, good quality data is like half of the battle one kind of. So you can just use something, uh, you know, pretty simple to actually understand what's going on. But once, yeah, data is very unclean, um, you might have to like use more advanced stuff to really understand what's going on. So we, uh, because we partner with the engineers quite closely to help us get like as best quality data as possible, it, uh, it actually simplifies our life quite a lot. Our life's still not very simple, but <laughs> it does simplify it. Um, and uh, yeah, I think uh, one thing that I'm super proud of working at Oculus is like people take data super seriously. They do want to work with us closely and understand what's going on in aggregate. And I think that's something um, I'm not sure other companies are doing the same thing, but I think that's our edge basically. Yeah. Uh, that we, yeah, we try to figure out like all little small things that might go wrong and try to figure out exactly why. Yeah. One question I had on the more sort of technical side, this is gonna, almost gonna sound like a technical interview question, but it's something that has been kind of, I, I wanna say bothering me almost, because one of the things that I was asked recently was, because um, I was giving advice on when to use which algorithm. And somebody asked me, when would you ever use a support vector machine? And since, I mean, since you're, you're focused on classical data science, I figure like this is a great time to put you on the spot. Um, can, you, can you kind of share any insights on that? Like maybe generally model selection, but specifically, I mean, the one I'm wondering about here is support vector machines. Sure. I, th I think if you have any other <laughs> insights on that too, people I'm sure would be interested to hear. Uh, I think it's just pretty simple. Like support vector machine is too slow for a lot of data. Um, so we... There was a project that I uh, had to look into using like one of these you know classical machine learning algorithms, um, and yeah, it just didn't handle like a lot of data well. Uh, I think scalability is important, and also you know understanding the you know uh, the results like interpreting the model. So um, you know I tend to favor simple models and then have more of like a feature engineering because you forces you to kind of like understand the data a little bit more. Um, so as simple as like logistic regression works pretty well. Um, and then if there are requirements to push the model to be more accurate, you basically, you know, try something different, try something that might, um, you know, uh, might work better, might fit not overfit data that well that much but still like performs really well um, the problem is that you start having all these hyperparameters that you need to tune and then you start having to do like grid search or some kind of like search which just gets messy um, so in the end for me it's like how much time do I have um, and like how much effort I want to put into it so I yeah I think you should just like start from simple, uh, very simple models. Do you think that's a carryover from the Airbnb days of like simple <laughs> solution first, hacky solution first? I think it's just from experience that people, you know, it, it could be like a function of like incentive of like uh, data science to work on something impactful. So you have to factor in like, you know, how much impact you can have versus how much time you spend. Um, and this kind of comes into prioritization um, you, you know, you need to prioritize well what uh, gives you like the most impact um, at this particular moment or like build something for impact in the future. And of course, like something that takes like twice as long, but the same impact may be not something you want to explore. Um, so doing something simple first tends to just like verify the idea that it has impact. And then once you know, you have buy-in from other people, from engineers or like PMs who say, oh, this is a great idea. Then you can kind of like develop your idea more. 